Hi everyone, it's Karen and I'm back with another uh, page in my doily and lace book that I am creating for Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy and I will be leaving links to her shop in the description box below so please go over and have a look at the beautiful laces and trims and blings that I am using in my projects. Uh, most of them are from her shop and I will let you know if it's something from my stash. Otherwise, I will uh, be telling you about the lace from her shop while I'm creating. And I decided I'm not gonna go back and review any of the pages I've done this far. There are uh, two videos up showing maybe three, four pages in this book. And then uh, we're gonna do, I've done one ahead of time that is in front of you and I'm gonna tell you all about it. And then we're gonna do one together. Then I'm gonna finish the book off. There's only the back page to be done. So the next video after this one will be a full flip through of the entire uh, Lace and Doily book. Just because August has, there's a, some things have suddenly come onto my calendar in August that are taking up time and it's difficult for me to fit in doing the craft with me and also getting all the editing and getting the videos uploaded and everything. And so uh, being able to craft sort of little bits here and there in within my time frames works out better for me. And that's just life and I'm okay with that. Um, I also will leave links to in the description box below to the other designers who are currently creating gorgeous inspirational projects for you to see and using the amazing and beautiful products from Kim's shop, Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy. Continuing on, we are doing this lovely little lace and doily uh, book. And this is the second of the doily pages. And it again is sewn, the two doilies together, sewn in a nice big pocket. And as I had said before in other videos, I'm envisioning this book to be something that you could tuck keepsakes in. And so there are the big pockets in order to do that. Uh, this one again, uh, the little beauty image, images in this of the little girls are all uh, digital downloads from Shabby Dabby Doo Da and the little dresses are from the other paper girl and it's also a digital download. And I have added embellishments to the little paper dresses. The dresses are printed on a heavier cardstock and the images are printed on a heavier weight uh, copy paper that I use that I find uh, is has a better saturation of colors even even when it's not colored even when it's like this sort of the the black and white or the brown tones that it, it, it just the paper seems to take the ink much nicer and get clearer images than just uh, plain copy paper. This time again I put the beautiful tassel trim on the bottom of the page here and just make sure that you can see that. There we go. I have put cotton fabric over the book on the pages just so that you're not getting a sneak peek of anything that I am working ahead on or have completed. The pages that I have completed, some of them I added some little things to, which you will see in the final reveal. This book was for sale. It's already been purchased, so I hope that the lady that has purchased this, who is, uh, I'm sure watching, she's been watching the series. I hope she enjoys watching her coming to completion. So I added some laces onto the bottom of this little dress. These, This lace here, Kim has something similar in her shop. It's an insertion lace that I just cut into the two pieces. Uh, and it, otherwise it's joined together and there's a place in the center to put ribbon through. I just wanted a very little lace to put on this dress and I had that. And I had run out of what I had from Kim's shop. So you can get similar of these little quarter inch uh, laces that work really well for this type of thing and I put another little piece here at the waist this little bit here at the waist is from this trim which is a beautiful dangle trim from Kim's shop that was in a previous design team package I believe it's still available in the shop and I had these this little bit left it has this gorgeous dangle on it and so I took a little piece and added that at the waist 
and then a little bit again of the lace at the collar for on the dress and then this little bow I created out of this thread and this thread is I pulled from it's a shiny pretty little thread and I pulled it from the bottom of the tassel so when you get the tassel it is joined on the bottom by this thread to keep the tassel from getting all tangled up and when you're ready to use it you just pull this away and then you get the fringe or tassel I, I call, keep calling it tassel but it is fringe and so I thought well I'm not I can't throw anything away and that's that's a whole illness unto itself guys so I thought well I'll keep it and I wanted to make a little bow for this dress and so this was tied into a little bow and put on the dress so there it is there and because it's a shiny pretty little thread it actually looks really nice uh, around the edge of this particular photo I used the lovely flat lace that I had in my design team package it's quite wide um, if you can go back and refer to my original design team package video but it has all these beautiful little flowers on it and as you can see I'm cutting and cutting and cutting it up and so I just cut along the flowers as I was cutting it out to get the shape to go with the florals to go around the edge of this photo to to um, give it the the edging around the photo and all the photos have the felt on the background which I've shown you all the way along uh, I put the felt just a piece of, of felt on the back just it elevates them and gives them a little bit of softness cushiness uh, and adds to I feel the um, the whole book is much nicer when you back them with some felt so the beige is this lovely flat lace that Kim has in the shop I think it's about maybe four or five inches wide and it's lovely as a full lace and you will see it in the book that way as well but I also love to cut these up and the corners are the little hearts again and I showed those I think on my last design team or on my last video and that's this lovely lace here and the hearts are right here so take away this piece here and there you have the heart and so I use those again three of them only because the dress covers this corner of the picture so there was no need to hide anything underneath there there's a bit of the fringe under there and the doily itself so I cut three of those and I put them in the corners and I just keep this little piece I have some floating around here on my desk and some piled somewhere um, because this could be used as a leaf on something it sort of has that look to it so it, it will it will be used goes into a little bucket of oh here's one see here's one right here what else did I do I added some tiny weeny 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 little tiny uh, pearls into the center of this beige uh, taupey light taupey colored trim that I used around the image and in this corner I added two of the little florals and that is from this trim and it's a really nice trim too with these leaves and these flowers on it so I just cut the flowers out individually and I put two in the corner here just tucked in kind of with the little heart that's in the corner. I added one of Kim's gorgeous blings. I'm not sure she still has these in the store, whether she's getting more in. You always have to keep an eye out. Her blings sell out so fast. But these are a gorgeous flat back with this creamy colored heart, per pearly heart in the center and gorgeous bling around the edge. Use that in the corner there. And then over here, I tucked two more of those little flowers from this trim in just tucked in behind the dress here. And this little girl, uh, in her hair, I just added a little acrylic flower with a bling on it, and that is from my stash. It's this page, all done, and a lovely bit, like I said, the big pocket in there. And now we're ready to go on to the back of that doily page. So let's get this pulled over here, make sure we are in frame so we can work on this together. So I've already put the fringe on the bottom, 
and I decided to put that on the bottom of every single page in the end so that's how that all came about and again I sort of got started to get this ready again so there's the felt that I put on the back of all the digital photos and I just glue that on with hot glue and then here is the one that's going to go on here so again I've taken a doily just gonna back out a little bit because I'm a little bit close okay so I've taken a doily and I've cut the center of it out and I just put those away because those can be used when you're doing layering up in flowers and things and so I have just touched a few spots in behind there to attach that around this little girl that I've chosen for this page so these I find doilies work so well to frame out an image so pretty and this doily does not reach all the way around it's not big enough but it doesn't have to because it just has to reach to the edge of here and in behind here it came and even if we weren't doing the little dresses, you could still do that. And then you could do like a spray of flowers down the side, or, you know, you could do some other laces joined in. It doesn't have to go all the way around the image. It doesn't have to fit perfectly. So this is going to sit on here. I did, a, this is a trim that I also had it just a little bit left over from a dangle trim from Kim's shop. I don't think she has it anymore. It was from a couple of, packages ago that I got it and it had this little dangle on it and so I added that on and to make the collar of her dress and I glued on the little uh, pink flat backs and again as I had mentioned before I used my art glitter glue to glue down the lace to the paper when it's fine little things like this to attach this in certain points along this doily along the edge of the image I did use hot glue um, so I use a combination of the two glues when I'm working on a project it just depends on where on the project I'm working so the little dress again this is the, one of the uh, more plain dress in in those digital downloads it was so cute though and so i added a triple ruffle on the bottom of this dress using this trim that again this sort of um, dusky rose colored trim and i again it's a gathered double trim and i cut it away and then i just gathered it regathered it myself pinching it along and I did three separate rows of it I did one at the bottom overlap the next one and then overlap the third one to make this cute little ruffle on the bottom of this dress there was it, there was no it was just plain like this all the way down to the bottom then I again added a little piece of the same as what's in her collar there I added that along there and then this little heart was also part of that same trim from Kim's shop and I still had one of the little hearts left. So I added the little heart on the side here and then just extended that trim. A little bit of pink ribbon from my stash to make a little makeshift bow. There was a bow on the dress and I added this, this little flower. Now Kim had these in her shop, but I believe it's all sold out. And since then I have found some and bought it again but I don't have it handy they're like they're the same as those but they come with the little green stems on them I, I cut out one of those and put it there and put a little flat back pearl from my stash in it her collar is again that same a piece of this again and it's just gathered this is such a nice trim because it has when you take this thread out it has a stretch to it so it's and it's really soft so it's really easy to manipulate and and regather and I gather gathered it around and made a little collar there on the dress and then I added some flat a string of pearls there little tiny little pearls I added those at the neckline as well so that sort of brought this part of the page together and I will it glue it down exactly how I have been doing all the way along and just making sure that I don't glue the pocket closed because always remember you do have a pocket so again last week I was using 
I use my hand or I use a piece of this. This is like that gluing mat. It's made of silicone and you can put that in there. I did find a smaller piece that I had cut. So I'll stick that in there as well. Anything like that, you can use a big spatula, silicone spatula and stick that down in the back of there. Just need to keep an eye all the time when you're gluing that you don't glue it down. You don't wanna glue your page closed, especially if that's what you had in mind all along is to have this as a, you know, a pocket. I mean, not your page, your pocket closed. And then you end up, you know, you go to stick your hand in there and you've glued it all shut. It's, it, that's a bit of a sad moment. So you just wanna do what you can. My hands really tolerate the hot glue very well. As a matter of fact, I'm really cold today. So the hot glue feels quite nice. And so I don't have a problem. Once I've got the edges of this glued down, then I will take and put a little bit of glue on the outer edge of this doily. And I basically, with my hot glue, squeeze the hot glue up to the tip of the glue gun. And I kind of, at that point, just swipe it over the back of the doily. I like to use just the amount I need and no more. So I'm gonna turn her here keeping everything covered, no peeking allowed. Gotta give you guys something to look forward to, hopefully come back and see the finale and see how she turned out. So don't wanna show you everything all at once. I actually have found, I, I, I started this creating this way where I put things together like you just saw with the the photo or the image and then the doily glued down around it and the dress added to it just glued to the edge. I did that for this series to kind of be prepared so I wasn't fumbling and taking so long to create but I actually found that I really enjoy creating that way because a lot of times I would put things together and I would take a photo of it which you know people recommend doing but you know I go back and look at the photo and it just I don't know it just wasn't the same as what I'd remembered. Whereas this way, when I really know what I want, and so I glue it down, a, you know, glue it a little bit so that it's together and stays together, and then glue the final thing down onto the page, I just find that it works really well. So if you've never given it a try to, to create that way, you might wanna consider it because I have actually really enjoyed doing it that way and have found it to work really well. So, you know, basically at this point, my page is, you know, three quarters done because I did all this other fiddly, you know, the little bits and pieces. I did that ahead of time, glued it on, and then attached it a little bit. So this was one piece and then put it down on the page. And now I'm just adding glue to make sure it's secure. So I'm just gonna reach in underneath and make sure that this image is all secure behind this little dress. And then we will put some glue on this dress and get her down. And you'll remember from when I did this last week before I put the dress down onto that fringe, I just like to make sure it's laying the way that I like it. As it's sort of, it's gonna get glued in place there now. And let's see, a little bit of, I don't mind a little bit of movement in the doily. So just attach it there a little bit more. And then I'm gonna turn it again and make sure this sleeve gets well attached. And I use hot glue on this because I just find that hot glue, uh, glues things down very well to fabric or to the doily and you don't have things coming off. And I don't find that it gets super bumpy because I don't use gobs and gobs of glue. The bumpiness under fabric comes, this is all smooth, it comes from using too much hot glue. That's why people, I've heard people say, well, it gets bumpy underneath the fabric. 
or underneath the paper. And, I'm, and I don't find that because I don't overdo. So just a little spot here. Try and grab those glue strands as I go to. Very annoying. I'm just gonna add some pressure here on this little sleeve to make sure that it stays down because that could be a very vulnerable point. You wouldn't want, you know, as you're looking at this to catch on that and, and end up ripping the sleeve off the little dress. That would be very sad. So just checking, I think that looks good. I've put my hand in the pocket and everything feels good there too. So just a couple more things to add to this cute little page. I have this lovely applique that was in my design team package. I have added a couple of leaves from Kim's shop into the back of it to give it even more dangle. And I am going to put that here on the side of the page. And these little leaves are going to dangle down like so. So let's just get a little bit of glue on that and get that stuck down. A little bow that I made for her hair little pink bow with a little pink acrylic flower on it and I'm gonna tuck that right there in her hair and my final page I have gone back and used the pink lace that I put on the front cover I had added that in and so I want to make sure that this page has a bit of pink on it. This is sort of a dusty rose color so I've added in little splashes of pink on this page in order to tie the two pages together. I've added a little bit of pink in her hair, a little bit of pink at the neckline of the dress she's wearing, and a little bit of pink on this one and I decided I went through my stash and I found this pretty pink butterfly and I added a little rose in the center of it that came off of something I don't remember but it was something that was from Kim's shop as well but I cut it off and I saved it the, the little butterfly is from my stash but it was just the perfect thing to go here and I just used this time for the antennae I used a couple of little pearls on the little fishing line I have a whole bunch of them that I got in a thrift store find of, of a, a headpiece from a wedding and it had all these pearls on it that were on the fishing line like that and so I have enough to last me for as long as I craft I'm pretty sure. I probably will add something into here um, just because I've used this other one in the book as well, I've added it in because I had two of these in my design team package and I did add something to that one and I forgot to pull the little acrylic flowers out that I added. So I will probably be adding those to this page as well if when I look at it, I decide that that's what I want to do. And I'm also going to add some little baby pearls in. And when I say baby pearls, I mean teeny tiny pearls not actually the tiniest pearls are not my favorite thing to use because i don't find that anything picks them up very well except a um, tweezers so they're a little bit fiddly i'll just show you a few of uh, me putting on a few of them just so you have an idea of how i do it and again i do find that the art glitter glue is the best choice for this if you use a liquid glue, uh, for you the reason I like it is because it has this fine tip on it. If it wasn't for this fine tip, it wouldn't matter what the glue was like. It's because I can put such a fine little um, dot. So I want to put one there. And I usually, when I'm doing the art glitter glue, I, have, I do just the number of dots that I have pearls ready in front of me. Um, you do have a little bit of time with a liquid glue to do your placement 
Uh, and it actually the glue sets up a little bit, so sometimes it's to your advantage to give it a, a couple seconds to do that. And then I just, I do that too. I drop it into the glue instead of placing it into the glue. I also use the edge of my tweezers if I happen to think you know that the glue is spread out a little bit more than I want. Art glitter glue dries clear but I don't want like big rim of it around the edge of the and I probably should have brought you in closer. So I'll do a couple more just in case I really didn't have you on screen very well because that would not be of any benefit to you would it? So let's grab a couple more of those weeny little pearls and flat back pearls. I think they're two millimeter guys. If if you ask me, I they're the original bag they came in was not really conducive to me getting at them easily, so I dumped them into a bigger bag. Um so I don't remember the, what size they were. And see how this one has moved? That's what happens with liquid glue. You have to, there's a lot of time you have to wait for it to dry. So you have to be a lot more patient. So this is something I do at the end. And then this page will sit open here for, you know, an hour. Well, this has good drying time. Because otherwise, if they're not dried on properly, they're either going to move or they're going to fall off completely. So that one, there's a little bit more around the edge of there than what I want. So I just kind of take it off and wipe it off the edge of my. So I have a couple more there to do, but that's them. And these ones are already setting. I can't move them. It doesn't take long, but you need to be patient. Otherwise, if you close the book up too quickly, you'll find them stuck other places or completely lost so it's worthwhile it's sort of your last thing that you want to do it's kind of like with stickles you know if you're going to do any stickles you do that and then you walk away so that you you don't end up spreading it everywhere at this point i'm not going to flip back to show you the previous page i will take pictures and i will add them to the end so they'll be the page that I worked on that I showed you at the beginning and then this page a close-up as well um, showing you this one and then like I said I'm gonna work on the very back page and the just the back of that one which isn't gonna be much because it's gonna be the back of the album so I'm not planning to put a picture or anything on there so next time I come back I'm gonna show you her in all her glory with all her extras I will have extra photos for you to see and if you have any questions about anything that I have done or products I have used just leave them in the comments below I love hearing from you I try and answer all my comments and and I try and help out anyone if you have any questions and I hope you're enjoying watching me putting together this beautiful little book and again go over and shop at Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy and see what the other designers are up to. Links are all in the description box below and I will talk to you all soon guys. Bye for now.